<laughs> you like that trick, right? <laughs> Babies are the cutest and the most innocent beings on the planet. I can play all day with these cute little eight pounders. But not everything is so pleasant about them. Yes, these little ones get on with their dirty little affairs when you least expect them to. Hey, but we don't need to worry. We have something that keeps the mess away from the surroundings. Do you know what I'm talking about? This! This is a disposable diaper. Do you know who invented this? Come, let me show you. Zoom in! Not so long ago, mothers used cloth diapers to handle their babies little dumps. But soon, these cloth diapers proved ineffective. It leaked a lot and ended up dirting the clothes of the baby and also the bed sheets. The continuous cleaning of clothes annoyed all mothers. They were unable to give anything else in their life any attention, professionally or personally. But one such loving yet tired mother, Marion Donovan, was adamant on finding a solution to this problem. Marion Donovan was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana in 1917. Marion's mother died when Marion was very young. So she spent most of her childhood with her dad in his manufacturing plant. She found a lot of happiness just by being there. She had lots to do to keep her occupied. In fact, she enjoyed staying around her father who was an inventor along with Marion's uncle. Thanks to her father and uncle who instilled an inventive spirit in Marion at a very young age. In 1946, Marion became a housewife and mother of two. Marion had grown tired of repeatedly changing her youngest child's soiled cloth diapers, bed sheets, and clothing over and over again. She thought of designing a diaper to keep her baby and the surrounding area dry. One day, Marion decided to put an end to this. She pulled out a shower curtain and sat down with a sewing machine. She tried a number of things. And after several failed attempts, she finally created a waterproof diaper cover. She sewed the plastic around the cloth to avoid any dampening of the cloth which also avoided any sort of leakage. What a cool thought, right? Who knew? A shower curtain could be so helpful. <laughs> the plastic made it waterproof and it was quite soft and smooth which meant it didn't give the little babies any rashes. Marion also realized that the safety pins which were being used for tiny tots were very dangerous as it could poke the baby or the mother. So she made snap fasteners Another creation by this inventive lady. Marion named her diaper the boater as she thought that it resembled a boat. <laughs> what a creative lady! Marion wanted to commercialize this so that all mothers could utilize her effort in making their lives easier. She kept trying to find a buyer for the boater. Initially, no one was interested in her invention. But being determined and adamant as always, Marion went about selling it on her own, individually. Since the very first day of its debut in 1949, the boater became a huge success. It was a demand of all mothers and she finally patented her invention. So, in 1951, Marion sold the rights of her diaper to an American corporation for a whopping $1 million. Kids, 
you know how you keep on adding little details to your drawing to make it even more beautiful? The same way, Marion thought of adding a few more useful tidbits to the boater to make it into a disposable diaper. She came up with a special type of paper called rayon that was not only strong and absorbent but also conveyed water away from the baby's skin. This was yet another remarkable innovation to her invention. In 1961, a manufacturer named Victor Mills took Marion's idea and made a business out of it. As for Marion, her inventive spirit didn't fade away. She continued inventing different things one after another. But none of her inventions could match the popularity of the disposable diapers. In fact, disposable diapers has become a must for all little babies across the planet. I have some more cool stuff to tell you. Here comes the interesting trivia time. Do you have any idea how many average diapers a child uses from its birth to being potty trained? Well, it's a crazy number of 7,000 to 9,000 diapers per kid. That is a huge pile of diapers. Not only that, Americans spend almost $7 billion on disposable diapers every year. Whoa! That is a lot of money gone behind dirty affairs. <laughs> Did you know that inventing the first waterproof disposable diaper earned Marion's election to the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2015? Disposable diapers might look like simple, unimportant items, but they have surely saved our parents of a huge mess. And we have only Marion to thank for it. I'm going to see you next time with another cool invention. This is me zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!